G'day, thanks for joining us for Sunday Afternoon Football. Dennis Cometti speaking. Spectators will really be able to stretch out on their seats. Not a big turnout for this game. I'm paired in the box today with Matthew Richardson. What a pleasure. Happy to be here today, Dan. Can't wait for this one to start. Carlton players run onto the ground. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. We have the toss of the coin. I can't wait for this encounter to begin, and I think the crowd would agree with me too. They're on the edge of their seats. We're underway. The opening bounce. Big leap. Webster made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Long a try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing maker. Akers gets onto the ball. Cripps, hand passes the ball. Jams it on the boot. A solid mark from Pro. Rowe sends one up towards the wing. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Gets boot to leather. Strong mark. Kicks. Yet his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Great mark. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Simpson kicks for goal. Couldn't seal the deal. The Blues by a point. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Kicks towards 50. Takes that one strongly. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's OK to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Wright slams it on the boot. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Stephen just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kick grow. He gets boot to the ball. Great hands. Kerno getting into position for the kick. He kicks it long. Wright with the ball. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. It's going. He kicks long, but not accurately enough. It won't be a goal for him. The Blues by two points. Stevens is a great kick, and if he can maintain that accuracy under pressure, he'll elevate to the elite category. Kerno has a kick, a goal to the Blues. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. Cherno with the goal, and he runs back into position. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Kruzik totally outclassed in that contest. Gains possession. Gilbert starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on the side. 50 metres out. A set shot on a 30-degree angle. Geary takes the mark. Kicking from about a 30-degree angle here. Geary tries his luck with a shot at goal. St Kilda sink their first.
I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Smiles all round. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Cruiser has such great hands. He always gives his team first touch, and he seems to always know who's in the best position to receive those clever touches. Right, kicks it. Kerno marks it. Puts boot to ball. That's a nice, strong mark. 35 metres out, and he's kicking on a 30-degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. His aim was just on. The Blues by three points. Stevens assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Marked by Cripps. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision was generally less disastrous than indecision. Cripps unloads one towards goal. The goal for the Blues. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Cripps is pretty handy around goal. He just has that sixth sense of knowing where the goals are at all times. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Cripps gloves that. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. More bounce than a dodgy check. Long it gets onto the ball. Levy picks up the bouncing ball. A great effort. A difficult kick into this breeze. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Nice hands. 35 metres out. Lang going for number one. They say you miss 100% of the shots you never take, so hopefully he can just shrug that one off. We'll look for a quick option here. A pinpoint pass is the key. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. That's two in a row for Carlton. The Blues leads by two. Silvani has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. He's excited about that one. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. One down by Cruiser. Cripps onto the ball. Cripps throws the ball. Free kick. A difficult kick into this breeze. And the mark will be paid. Chips it down towards half forward. Steele takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. A good contested mark there. He gets boot to the ball. The mark will be paid. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Cherno going for number two. Richo, help me out here. What was he thinking? Ice cream. It's my best guess. Stevens is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. He grabs it. Jones getting into position for the kick. He picks it up. Webster kicks the ball. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. He kicks the ball. Gilbert misses the ball. Guided down nicely by Globy. Deft touch from Bro. Murphy feeling the pressure, gets the quick kick away. Cruiser feeds it wide. Nice mark under pressure. Works it across the ground. That kick was asking a bit much of Bright. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. The loose ball scooped up. Mullet kicking the ball free of the pack. Silvani, the better man there, sends the ball inside his attacking 50. Simpson getting into position for the kick. And that torp has gone supernova. Stephen with the pickup. Right going for number one. Just fell through. Right kicks his first. That's three in a row for Carlton. The Blues with the ascendancy over the Saints, leading the match 29 to 6.
He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here's the bounce. Cruiser gets the tap. He's got the footy in his hands. Good mark by Simpson. And he's kicking on a 30-degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. That ball's travelling. What a huge goal by Simpson. This lead getting bigger now. The Blues have scored the last four goals. Carlton beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 35 to 6. Richo, what do the stats tell us? Kicking is one of the most essential skills in football, and the Blues could put 35. And here's the start of the second term. Persistence can change failure into extraordinary achievement. Levick looking to make them pay for that turnover. Nice mark there. Good drop punt by Bakers. Strong mark. Slams it on the boot. A good mark under the circumstances. The wind gives that kick a little more distance. Nunes is quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. The mark will be paid. Gilbert with the shot. The ball's up, straight into the post. The Saints trail. Looks like he's going to go long. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Cherno got under it. Slams it on the boot. Takes it well. The kick is held up in the wind. Ross guides it. Picked up the ball. Robertson guides it. Grips with the tap. Handball short. Tackle, but gets the handball off. I haven't seen him for a while, Richo. Dennis, he just seems to be continually choosing the wrong option. Going for goal number two. Richo, what can we say about that attempt? That's one of the worst kicks I've ever seen. And I've seen plenty. Fair to say that'll have little impact on the scoreboard. He kicks it to himself. Jams it on the boot now. Murphy grabs that one. Carlton but dominating in the air and the scoreboard reflects it. Cripps with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Cruiser marks it. Sending it on its way. Dunstan claims the ball. Puts boot to ball. Right with a strong mark. Slams it on the boot. Marks. Here's a chance for Simpson. 40 metres out. Simpson launches one towards goal. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. Carlton with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading St Kilda 36 to 8. Great mark. Stephen has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Lamb with the spoil. The ball is mopped up. The ball is tapped. Kerridge hits it. It's in his possession. Simpson heading in now. Simpson goes for home. Carlton lead the Saints. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Simpson knows that was something special. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. There's the bounce. Cruiser gets the tap. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. We'll have another ball up. Punched by Longer. A clean pickup. Batted down nicely by Murphy. The ball spills to Gresham. Gresham feeds it wide. A nice uncontested mark for Nunes. 50 minutes from home. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. That kick held up in the wind. Mark by Lamb. Lamb has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. Trips with the kick. Cruiser takes the mark. He lays off the pass. Wright takes a shot. 
Wright has got it. The Blues beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 48 to 8. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. He loves it. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Long had got the hit out. Lucky bounce collected. Mullet, the better man there. Chips it down towards half forward. Takes the mark all by himself. Right boots it. The mark missed by Simpson. Picked up the ball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. Tapped by Weller. Umpire made the right decision there. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Brown with a straight line to go. The Blues in front. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Lang knows that was something special. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Cruiser is superb with his ruck work. Once his eyes are locked onto the ball, there's little chance he won't get a fist to it. Steele approaching home now. Sinclair, just the better man in that contest. Picked the goal by Sinclair. Look at that. He's put it through. The Saints should really pack up and go home at this stage. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Congratulated by his teammates. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Long it really gets onto this one. Levy kicks it. And the mark will be paid. Nice drop punt. Dunstan takes it well. Dunstan sends one up towards the wing. Steele having no trouble taking that one. Akers with the mark. Akers will take every opportunity to take a screamer when a step ladder presents itself. Roberton with the ball. He kicks the ball. He comes off hands. A clean pick up. Murphy hits it. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Kruzik with a big fist on it. Gets the loose ball. Deft touch from Murphy. Murphy decisively. Scoops up the ball. Jams it on the boot now. Gilbert takes it well. Low spearing kick. And the ball goes out of bounds. The Rackman jostle for position. Tap by Longer. Able to grab it on the half volley. Cripps is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Boy, do they need to score. The Saints create the collective side of the league. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. Akers celebrates. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Guided by Cruiser. Long at but. Almost half time. Handball finds right. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Oh, that was a brave shot. Good goal. Carlton fight 40.
He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Right with the goal, and he runs back into position. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Long it knocks it down the field. Gilbert is able to grab it on the half volley. Here's a chance for Billings. Gets boot to leather. Let's go to the stats sheet now and see how the players perform. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contests. 14 to 6. The handball stats show that the two teams have... The third quarter has begun. I'll tell you what, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Lamp onto the ball. Manages to get a hand to it. Puts the kick on the win. A nice uncontested mark for Silvani. Lovely hand pass hits the man. Well, it bumped off the ball. Robertson gets the upper hand. St Kilda just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Jones drops it. He steals the ball on the bounce. Graham by hand. His run-up looks promising. Jeez, poor, poor kicking. Carlton, they're really looking the goods with the lead over St Kilda. Stevens to bring it in. Plays on. Kicks into the win. He wins the contest. Ross boots it. Nice work from Savage. Oh, that's a nice long kick. A good mark under the circumstances. A low kick from Longer. Robertson has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. If the Saints' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50, they just need to be given a shot. Nunes lining up. 40 metres from home. Nunes hammers the ball for goal. Well, for me, a few words come to mind for that kick, but none of them are allowed on air. What are your thoughts, Richard? One word, Dennis. Disgraceful. Carlton have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery, their forwards have been receiving. It's no wonder the Saints are starting to fall behind. He gets boot to the ball. The mark will be paid. He puts power behind that kick. He grabs it. He boots it. Right. Marks the ball. Goes towards half forward. Strong mark by Dunstan. Plays it across half back. Takes it well. Picked by Webster. Marks. The Saints haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Good mark. Silvani kicks it. He gathers up the intercepted ball. Well, uh, with the football, the mark will be paid. Robertson puts it on the boot. Steele has it. His kick slurs off the side of his boot. Gresham has it. The kick is held up in the wind. Nunes marks. Testing shot outside the 50. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. Choose to kick it. Taken by Gilbert. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Going for goal number one. Fantastic goal by Gilbert. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish mark. Gilbert can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. That replay shows just how good that goal was. His teammates rush over. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Long had I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. A desperate kick there. Picked up the ball. 
The loose ball picked out. He gets the hand pass. Robertson kicks it. Steele drops it. Right now he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by Geary. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. He misses the mark. Clean tap by Globy. Geary shoots it. Fantastic goal by Geary. Some nice goals, but it won't make much difference at the end of the day. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Very happy with that kick. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Long it knocks it down the field. He was cooler than they say, the proverbial Penguins freezer. Steele goes to midfield. A mark by Gilbert. Puts boots to ball. Nice hands. Kicks it long. Nice contested mark by Plum. Puts boot to ball. Wins the hard ball. Brooks and Kilda haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. A good hit out there. Geary mops up the ball. He knocks it down. The umpire wants to throw it in. Longer knocks it down. Cruiser gets the footy. Steele with the interception. Lamb gets cleaned up. Gilbert with good strong hands. Gilbert feeds it wide. Strong mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nunes spills it. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Sinclair has gone missing, Richard. You're right, Dennis. He's gone missing lately. That's three in a row for the Saints. They're making a charge for the lead. They'll have to get some more points on the board, though. St Kildick have just been poor at reading the ball off the packs. They need to get back to basics and try and generate some forward run and carry. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. Nunes gloves that. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The umpire has bounced the ball. Long it guides it. He controls the bouncing ball. Cruiser kicks it out of congestion. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Silvani is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Webster with a strong mark. Sending it on its way. Cripps gets the upper hand. Sending it on its way. Graham marks it. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Strong mark. Right kicks into his attacking 50. He gathers the loose ball. Rosk, not phased by the pressure, gets his kick away. The loose ball picked up. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. Silvanic sends the ball on its way. Lining up the goal now. a very well executed goal and they stretch out their lead Carlton leads and killed at 67 to 39 Time to take a look at the stats. The Saints are far behind on the scoreboard, but are neck and neck with the Blues in the stats. Thank you very much, Richo. Only one term to go now. After each game, I always wanted to be able to say, I gave all I could. I gave it my best. Takes possession. Long it kicks it. Gilbert marks. Kicks. Nice hands. Billings will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. And he's kicking on a 30-degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Sinclair pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. Alarm bells are ringing for the Saints. Sinclair is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him.
The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Sinclair happy. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Cruiser has such great hands. He always gives his team first touch and he seems to always know who's in the best position to receive those clever touches. He's got a handball away. He taps the ball. Lang knocks it down. Stevens gets the ball. He lays off the pass. He's blocked it. Simpson heading in now. Goal for Carlton. The Blues over. The Saints by 28. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Simpson is relieved to see that one go through. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. Cruiser punches it. Has it now. Dishes it off by hand. Puts boot to ball. The wind gives that kick a little more distance. A mark by Sinclair. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Goes wide for a behind. They really needed a goal there. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. So well timed. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Geary lets fly with a shot at goal. Alarm bells are ringing. Puxin killed it. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Long it without a touch. The clearance by Cruiser. He has no trouble grabbing that one. That kick held up in the wind. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Right going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. Looking for another goal here. Oh, that's just giving the ball away. Touched it as it crossed the line. Carlton with a handy break, leading St killed at 74 to 52. Looks like he's going to go long. He plays on with a little kick. Spears a low ball. It was all his. Steven doesn't even break stride when gathering the loose ball. Just clean hands. Graham boots it. Lang just wanted it more then. Lang kicks for goal. Perfect kick. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Gilbert onto the ball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. Steele gets the upper hand, kicks, Akers marks it, boots it. He shouldn't have bothered. Tapped by Newlands, clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. He gains possession. Kruzik has had plenty of it, Richo. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. Nice work from Kerno. Bumps the pigskin. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Kicks. A nice running mark. Jams it on the boot. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the peg. St Kildick just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. He lays off the pass. 
he gets boot to the ball. Has the mark all to himself. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. Drifts wide to go through for a behind. Consolation goals are all they can hope for now. Teammate scrambling to make a lead. Plays onto himself. March back. Boots it. Guided down nicely by Gresham. Billings gets the tap. Well, that wouldn't have been my choice. It'll be deliberate. Murphy sends one up towards the wing. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Marlette got a really good footballing brain. Cripps gets the footy. He sends it to an empty space. Simpson kicks the ball. He takes a strong mark. Steven with the kick. That's a nice strong mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice contested mark by Longer. Low spearing kick. Robertson marks. The wind carries the kick. Tap by Murphy. Nunes comes away with the ball. Sinclair taps. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Going for goal number two. Drifts wide to go through to a behind. It looks like they won't bridge the gap before this clock runs out. Might have to kick it to himself. Able to grab it on the half volley. Jams it on the boot now. That play is as high tech as it can for. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Guided down nicely by Longer. He picked it up off the ground. Mullet taps. He runs for home. Sends it on its way. Stevens looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Stevens, he's quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. Good mark. Puts boot to ball. Silvani takes the mark. He slams that on the boot. That's a mark. Stephen boots it. Savage aims for his man on the ground. Jones with the mighty fist. Deft touch from Graham. Mullet with the tap. Deft touch from Cripps. Stephen taps. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. He finds the boundary line regardless. The Ruckman jostle for position. Tap by Cruiser. The Blues have played some very good football indeed, and they've been rewarded with a win. Your final word on today's game, Richo? I'm a great believer in luck, and I found the harder I worked, the luckier I got. Enlightening, Richo. Final scores are 80 to 54. That's it for us. I will see you again, but not yet, not yet.